Hello and welcome to Tutorials, I'm Tam and today we shall be making this lovely CSS and HTML only drop down menu. This is really easy to make and it shouldn't take too long for me to teach you so let's get straight into it. Uh, before I start I must add a few things. First I'm using Zen Coding which is a free add-on for most uh, text editors or most big ones like uh, I know Dreamweaver works and TextMate I think has it as well. And you can go get that by googling Zen Coding in Google, and it allows you to do this. So you can write shorthand, and then um, and it will do it for for you and stuff like that. But I'm not covering that. That's just to let you know how I can type so quickly. So today I'm going to show you how to make that awesome menu I just showed you how to make, and that menu. It's actually made for a whole load of lists and sublists to make our main menu and submenus. So first we want to write those sub lists and sublists. So how do you make a list and a sublist? Well you start off with our unordered list tag and underneath that you'll have all our list tags and then inside those list tags we'll have a anchor tag. So we get our unordered list, our list item and our anchor tag. Now these list item, these anchor tags will be linked to the pages, obviously. But for the sake of this tutorial, we ain't got any other pages, so we're just going to set them to hash, which means not go anywhere. And then we'll set these to home, about, and folio, just quickly. And now to make a sub list, you go inside our list item, and you should normally do this right before the closing tag of our list item, and right after anything else. For example, in this case, an anchor tag. And then we'll go inside there and and create another list with list items and anchor tags and so on and you can keep doing that as many times as you want just to prove how versatile this drop down menu really is because you can just keep going down and down and down until you run out of room and even then keep going um, but to save time I'm not obviously going to go through and create a whole massive long list so I'm just going to quickly paste in our lovely list now this might look confusing but actually it's really simple we have our main five which are these three right here and these two and then links has a sub list as you can see here we have our sub list and then portfolio also has a sub list which is this one and then people has a sub list which is this one and then action shots also has a sub list which is wait yep that one <coughs> excuse me and finally outside has a sub list which is that one this looks like that. Not the nicest menu I've ever seen. But what's really good is that's all the HTML coding we have to do. That is absolutely it for our menu's HTML coding. N the rest of this, all this fanciness with the hovering and the drop downs and all that, is done purely in CSS, which is really nice. So let's start with our style. And I spelled style completely wrong. There we go. Love the other. Okay, so first we want to get rid of all the padding and stuff, which is causing these indents and the padding of the page and everything. To do that, we're going to use a little star symbol to get rid of all of that. So we're going to get padding to naught for everything and margin to naught for everything. And as you can see, all that's gone, which is good because that's what we want. Next, we're going to put some um, do some stuff to the body now as you can see here we've got some padding around the edge normally you would take a wrap um, a wrapping div around your whole website and then do any padding and stuff you want to add to that but for the sake of time I'm just gonna add it straight to the body so we're gonna select the body which is that remember and then we're going to set padding to five pixels and by doing that we just give it a little push away from the edge which is a bit nicer to look at and I'm also going to set the font family to Helvetica Arial and forming back to Sans Serif. I like to have Arial first because it looks nicer. And then we're going good. Well, we're going well. Okay. Now I'm going to select our list item, our unordered list, sorry, and set list style to none. Easy. So that then gets rid of what you can't see, which because it's off the page. Uh, list those little bullet points that were there basically. Now I'm going to select each list item, set it to float left, 
which how we get it floating in this sort of the horizontal line. Yeah, horizontal line. And already it doesn't look very good. Because we've still shown all our sub menus. But before we get to hiding them, we're going to do a couple more things, which is uh, padding to the right of one pixel. And although you can't really see it, do you see them push that way a little bit? There's a little one pixel gap between every single list item, which helps us create that little line of padding, that one pixel line there. And finally, we're going to set position to relative. By doing this, this helps, although it doesn't visually do anything immediately, it will make our lives incredibly load just easier when it comes to creating our drop downs and positioning them. Okay. Now we're going to go and style our anchor tags, which are what these colours and stuff you're seeing is, or whatever. So I'm going to select all the list items anchor tags. Normally, because I'm using um, p pulling the list item straight away, normally instead of having our list item, you would have uh, give the list item an ID and then select that ID in front of everything. But just for the sake of time, I'm not doing that. Okay, so now we're going to set display not direction display to something very interesting table cell now this will enable us to center our text both horizontally and vertically most importantly vertically you can do it horizontally anyway and it also allows us to do width height and that sort of thing this won't work as I'm not sure if I mentioned it first but I might have done I can't remember I forget these things but anyway this won't work in IE7 or below I think i8 and any other decent web browser <laughs> it's fine but for this tutorial um, we're aiming solely at decent browsers and i8 so moving on uh, we should set vertical alignment to middle which will align the text vertically in the middle set the width of these to not widows width there we go to 100 pixels and the height to 50 pixels and then text align to center background color to hash 69c uh, and font color to white and finally text decoration to none and if we refresh this page, there, we've styled all our anchor tags. Next we want to do the hover event styling, which is easy. All it does is change the background colour. So to do that we're going to get the list and then the anchor tag, and when the anchor tag is hovered, we're going to set background to a colour of uh, 0.9c. Just like that. So now if we hover over these, they change colour. But they're not looking very nice, let's be honest. So really what we want to do right now, before we do anything else, is get rid of those sub-menus. To do that we just set, select our list item, and then select our so our list item's first child um, list, um, list, list, unordered list thing. So for this list item it will be this unordered list. For this one, this unordered list, Oops. and so on and so forth. And then we're going to set display to none, and by doing that, we hide all our sub lists so we get a nice simple menu. <gasps> but wait, we can't see any of our drop downs anymore! So, to fix that, we're going to do a few things before we can actually see anything just to position our menus nicely. So, first, we're going to set the position to absolute. This will allow us to uh, position our drop downs anywhere. And by saying it's absolute and having that parent tag list item of relative, we're allowed to position it anywhere inside this list item. If we didn't set that to relative, it would automatically jump to the next one, which in our case is the full page. So we are going to set the left offset to zero, which will mean it's always pushed straight up against this side and not out on this corner or anything stupid like that. And then we're going to set top to 100%. Now it gets that 100% from the height of its parent um, tag, in this case the height of this, which is 50 pixels. 
so when we hover over it and set our hover state for this to be visible um, it will show and it will be right down here that's good so now we can go to list item and whenever a list item is hovered we select that sub list and set display to not direction sure I've got the HTML5 um, add-on for there quick coding display to block so it's adding a lot of extra things so now if we refresh this when we hover over one we get our full list now as I'm sure you've noticed there's no styling or anything like you there's no line like there is over here and when we hover over one of these sub menus they're just pushed down underneath this menu and that doesn't look really good so we're gonna have to style some of that now aren't we to do that we select our list item select our sub list and select our sub list list item and we set padding to naught just to be on the safe side and then padding top to one pixel and by doing that if we refresh this you see we have our one pixel padding on the top there but we still have the problem of the sub sub menus which go down below our sub menu again to fix this we need to select our sub sub menus so we go a list um, list item list items first child list and then the list item of that list and then the first list of that child list list item listing list items of list list items okay so we're going to set the position of this of the sub sub list to left 100 percent which as you can see pushes it directly left 100 pixels but because previously we set the list items to be down 100 pixels as well it's right at the bottom left right hand bottom corner yeah so to fix that we want to set top to zero and there we have our drop down menu nice and fitting but there's no line between these two or these ones or these ones so we want to set padding shut up dog ah. padding left to one pixel if you can still hear me and by doing that there is our one pixel line and we have a really noisy dog in my family yay okay but the width is all gone no so to do that we need to set the width of the list item of these sub sub menus so we're going to select the list item select the sub list select the list item select the sub sub list and then select the sub sub list list item and set the width to 100 pixels refresh the page and there is our list drop down menu done but wait something's not right if we go over to our previous example you'll see when we hover over something that list item that we hovered over and the drop downs come on is still um, coloured to prove that we're hovering it sort of like a breadcrumb so we go, we started off with portfolio then we went to people then we went to action shots then we went to outside then we went to winter and as you can see it left the breadcrumb colours to do that all we have to do is add one single last line of code we're going to go list item hover so whenever a list item is hovered you will select the first child anchor tag for example if this list, list item is hovered um, it will select this first anchor tag and then change it to our hover state for our anchor tags which I'm just going to copy and paste in just like that now the reason it stays whenever we hover over our sub lists is because these sub lists are inside this list item so this sub list is inside this list item which is in this list which is in list list item which is in this list which is in this list item which is in this this item okay <laughs> finally and that all just works it, 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 it's magic that's how it works magic and fairy dust and fairy liquid and that my friends is how you make a html and css beautiful drop down menu 